my YouTube channel, we'll be talking about how to make these beautiful roses. So get out your glue guns and let's get started. But before we do so, under comments, I would like to know whether you prefer this style of rose or in my other video, this style. Please comment below, like and subscribe. Let's get started. The first step in making these flowers is you're gonna need four pieces of paper. So I'm gonna just take four right out of this old book, just like that. Now I have four. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna start by making a perfect square. So you're gonna take the right bottom corner and bring it up to form a triangle. Now, once you cut off this remaining paper right here, you'll wind up with a square. So I go ahead and I fold it. And then I'm going to cut along this line right here. And that's what's gonna give you your perfect square. Now the next step is you're gonna fold it three times, okay? So fold, that's fold one, fold two, fold three. Now, the next step is you're gonna cut a, um, a curve shape. It's actually gonna be a half heart, and you're gonna cut from here to here. This is the most tricky part is you're gonna make sure that you keep this part intact so that your heart doesn't fall apart. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this cone shape or I think of it as a half heart. And then I'm gonna cut this very tip off so that the, the flower has a little middle part. And then you're gonna unfold it. And you're gonna repeat that three more times so that you have four of these. So again, I'll show you one more time. Okay, so now I have my four. One, two, three, four. So now out of my first one, I'm gonna cut one petal off. So here's the one petal I'm gonna cut off. Out of the next petal, I'm gonna cut two petals off. Then I'm gonna cut three petals. And the last one, I'm gonna cut four petals off. Now this extra four petals, you're not gonna need, so I'm gonna get rid of that. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna line these up from one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven petals. So now you're gonna start with, so now that you have them all lined up, you're gonna start with the one that you only took the one off, so the seven petals. You're gonna take your glue stick, and what you're gonna do is you're going to glue over just one petal. Go ahead and use that glue. 
and that's going to start the nice curve of your rows. Now I'm going to take my next one and do the same thing. Go ahead and glue. Does get quite warm. Okay. And then I'm going to do the same thing. So as you can see, each one is going to get a little bit smaller. They do start to get a little bit harder to work with as they do get smaller. This is going to be more of like a, it's almost like you're going to be really curling this as they get, that last two are really just more curled in. And then for our very last one, this one's a little bit trickier to work with because you're just going to be rolling that up. And that's going to be the very center of your rows. Okay. So now I have all of my roses. So what you're going to do is you're going... Go ahead and start gluing one into the other. Now when they get this small, I like it to me it's easier just to actually glue around the piece you're inserting. Again, all totally up to your personal preference. And then my very last center one goes like that. So as you can see, it makes it makes a very beautiful rose right here. Now if you want to make it a little bit more realistic, what I do is I take a pen or a pencil and then I'm going to start to bend the petals around it a little just to give it a little bit more of that realistic rose effect this is totally up to you how much or or not to do it at all I personally think it really as you can see it really starts to make that rose bloom Now this I made out of an old book. Um, I've also, you, I think they would come out really nice out of music. No, um, music. You could do wrapping paper. Obviously, origami paper. It's totally up, up to you what kind of design you make. And so as I go ahead and continue to curve these. You can see it really does start to really make a beautiful, beautiful rose.